Hey guys, Gabbers here, finally restarting, just like I promised my channel, kind of rebooting it, even though it really barely started, so I couldn't really call it a restart. And we are going to be starting with my main series for the foreseeable future. It is going to be epic. You guys are going to love it. I am excited for it. I am super excited for it. And it's my modded survival series that I'll be doing. I'll admit, it's kind of, I uh, kind of got the idea from... Uh, Captain Sparkles. I never really watched his series. Um, I never watched that series. Just, but I saw the name, I saw the mod, and I'm like, that would be pretty cool. Just to do a normal LP, but with a different Minecraft almost. <laughs> so that's what my idea was. Um, I didn't want to go too overboard, so I picked four mods, three of which are each of them in game changing in their own ways. One of which was something more that I need I just wanted because it was kinda cool and it would help it would help um kinda keep some of the evil creatures away that I, I may have added in with one of the mods. Um so yeah and if you guys ever forget um if you guys have sorry, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> if you guys have a mod that you guys really like and would like me to kinda throw in, let me know. I'm gonna be a little picky just because I don't want to overrun my computer. I don't want the lag at all because that ruins videos, in my opinion. I know it drives me crazy, so I expect that would drive you guys crazy. Um, and if you guys ever kind of forget what mods I'm using in a particular video, or you know, want to go find them for yourselves, or want to give credit where credit's due, definitely just look down in the description below my videos. In every single video, the mod. The name of the mod and the place where you can find it will always be there of the ones I'm using in that particular video. Uh, for the most part, they should all be the same. Uh, I'll probably stick with these four for the foreseeable future. So let's get right into it. What four are they? The first mod, uh, very game changing, is the Mo Creatures mod, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. It's pretty big. It is also insanely epic. A very, very cool mod. Very cool creatures, cool items, cool armor, cool everything. Uh, so that is going to be playing a huge role in this LP. The second game-changing mod is the Plenty of Biomes mod. This is crazy. When I saw this, I said, I really hope this works with Mo Creatures. I need to have this mod in my LP. It brings, like, I don't know, 48 or 58 or something stupid like that. New biomes with more being added all the time, though those wouldn't really affect the mod. This after that, um, yeah, so insane! It is crazy. Um, really cool, and it does work with creature biome or uh, creature o biomes. Yes, it's one mod now. It does work with the Mo Creatures mod, which is perfect. And the last but not least, uh, game-changing mod is the. Oh, my brain went dead. Uh, sorry, just reaching into my head, trying to pull the thought out of my head, and it is the... Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're gonna look. Um, oh yes, you know, I don't need to look. I remember it. The Millionaire Mod, which I'm sure you guys also have heard of, if you kind of look at mods. It is a pretty epic mod. It has, like, crazy village NPCs uh, that have like AI and they like build things and they work things and you buy things from them and stuff I don't know and that's part of the fun of this I don't even know like a third a quarter of half these mods so uh, when you guys are surprised uh, I'm probably ten times more so I'll be in shock all the time sorry for that little mic move and <laughs> yeah and the fourth mod that I threw in just because it's really cool uh, I'm going to need it to protect myself from evil ogres that blow things up and destroy things and all kinds of crap like that. Uh, and that is the turret mod. Um, I'm not sure if there's other turret mods. I think this is one of the few, like the only standalone turret mod other than like the portal turret mod. Um, so yeah, it is crazy. There's like 15, 16 different types of turrets. Uh, there's ammo that comes with it. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Um, and like upgrades for the turrets, so that's really cool. I'm gonna be using that to kind of. I'm sure I'll be making some fortresses at some point to defend against these 
ogres that I don't want coming around and killing everything. Um, I'll probably be setting up little like sentry turret areas around my normal go-to areas to kind of keep me a little safe. Because some of these mods, some of these mobs from the Mo Creature are just OP. Um, I'm never one to have a epic armor, so these mobs are crazy, and they will eat me for breakfast if I don't have some things that, around to help me when I'm just in my day-to-day -day areas. Uh, so together, I think this is really going to make a unique experience. Uh, I am ecstatic for it. I may even like squeal like a little girl at times, and yeah. And I hope that I don't go crazy when I'm playing and like get all excited and ramble and ramble, kind of like I am right now. But anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's get right into it. We're going to be making it. I actually made one already. Uh, let me just check this is working. Yeah, I actually made one already. Started it. Did all this talking, which is extremely boring. Talked and talked and blah, 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 blah. And it was like, yep, Fraps isn't working. It's crashed or something stupid. I don't remember what happened. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, here's the world type. Biomes of plenty. That took me like half an hour to figure out because I'm like why is there no biomes that are really cool this is stupid anyways I figured it eventually and we're gonna call it the Gabbers epic modded survival survival let's play okay LP uh, it's actually a terrible name but that's what this series is gonna be called so deal with it and dude, let's create this world. So, uh, it may lag a little bit, like not a ton. I've tested it. It kind of just like uh, 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 every once in a while, like not even close. And only for just because it's just because the um, all the loading and crap. Oh my gosh! I'm like, um, you want some horse with that plane? What the hell? There's so many horses. This is crazy. Why is there so many horses? Oh, this is stupid. Okay, I might lag just from the pure amount of horses that are around us. So, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to get out of this plane. I don't like how many horses there are. So, I've kind of turned down things. Uh, like, I don't. Ha I only have normal distance view, which is painful for me. But, I wanted to keep the fancy graphics because I like the trees. Uh, so, this plane has just horses. Like, and a zebra. Which I think are pretty rare, actually. Well, oh, it's pretty rare. Whoa. And as you can hear, there's lots of sounds. So I really do apologize if there's like um some sounds that are too loud and stuff uh, over my mic. I haven't really didn't really have time to test it. And the other thing is my mic hasn't been really working. My mic hasn't really been working all that well. Uh, it actually has a short in it. So if there's anything crazy going on, I apologize. I really do. I'm trying to fix it. I just need to I need to get some of these videos recorded so that I can get my my channel started. Well, I actually have to send this back to Razer. Uh, I have a Razer Precarious headset. So I have to get this sent back to Razer. Are you serious? I don't want to fight a bee. They hurt me. Um, so as you can see, we've already run into lots of... I don't... Is that a cat? Is that an ocelot or something? Um, so anyway, as you can see, we've already... Yeah, that's a cat. We've run into quite a few uh, mo creatures already. There's not going to be a whole lot of... Um, Whoa! Oh, whoops. Are you serious? What? 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 What's he below me? Uh... Hi, hi kitty. Okay, okay, bye kitty. No. This is crazy. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we'll definitely be looking for some villages. Uh, you, sorry, buddy. Take one for the team. Take one for the team. Um, I'm gonna be looking to set up some. Just get some normal things going. Since the normal, the normal Minecraft survival tools. Uh, I need, I need one of these. And I need uh, one of these. Okay. Is that cobble over there? What is that? 
I think it's cobble. No, it doesn't look like cobble. Oh, this is really cool. This is epic. So now we are in a wasteland. Is it cobble? Dried dirt. Oh, well, that's not what I need. Interesting. That poor elephant looks really out of his uh, zen there. Um, that's a snake. I think those things attack, so I'm gonna run over. Yeah. Hey, stay back here, stupid little thing. Um, so we're trying to get out of this dirt. We need to get into some cobble. There's a dolphin in the river. Uh, I don't think that's natural. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So plans for this. Um, I keep saying server for some reason. Plans for this channel. Uh, it's going to be. I'm going to be doing some adventure maps. This will be my main LP series. So I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, as much as I'm going to be enjoying playing this. But uh, I'm also going to be doing a map. Hopefully, I might get some of that uh, recorded today, but I'm not sure. Uh, the Legend of Narthan. Very cool. Uh, it actually. Um, encourages the use of the Mo Creatures mod to make Narthan seem more real. Very cool, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing the Legend of Narthan with the Mo Creatures mod installed. Once I figured out how to get that and the Anti Grief mod up, because you need that, and that's easier said than done because I am so bad with mods. Um, the only reason I was able to get this all this stuff done is because Forge makes everything like a billion times easier. Alright, so, no. we're just going to set that up, put a wood in it, put that in it, no. we're going to do that, do that, whoops, I think my shift is getting held, no. and then we're going to go, no. I think no. that raccoon just killed that. No. No. No! 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 Hey! I got a fish! I don't know how. I, I think- I thought I was killing a- I thought I was killing a- No! 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 Oh no! That's what it sounds like. Oh no! I suppose I'd be saying that too if someone was eating, trying to eat me for dinner. Um, hi, buddy. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh, he's hungry! Oh no! i Oh no! Okay, okay. Good kitty. Oh, you are. You are a piece of crap. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna do the normal survival things. Lol. Okay, so that's actually the first time I've run into a cat, big cat, quote unquote big cat that is hungry. They have like a hunger thing, it's crazy. I read about them because I like lions, and lions are part of that big cat group. Um, but yeah. They only eat when they're hungry, and I thought I saw him. And there were so many good, uh, deer around him, I figured he was, he was good. He wasn't. And uh, yeah, he does a ton of damage. I'm not even sure the proper way to fight that. But, anyways. Um, I'm gonna go out and try to see if I can find. There's so many bees. I'm good. I am neutral. I don't. I don't. Raccoon, you are evil. Hey, a goat. Goat. Okay, so I feel like this is this is where I was coming. I was over here. There's that's pretty cool. That's a mini or a mini horse. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Stupid boar. Hi, black bear. Yeah, you'd think a black bear is evil, but no, they're good. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I'm right back where I was previously. Grab all my crap. I didn't hit you. I'm neutral. 
you are. I'm good. You're good. Um, so that was good. Uh, that I found my way back, actually. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm probably going to be getting the... Sorry for the loss of train of thought there. I'm probably going to be getting the Raise Minimap mod and seeing if I can add that to my little uh, group of mods I have running here. Because they're pretty, it's pretty cool. And it's kind of, I, I, oh my god, okay, that scared the crap out of me. Because uh, I don't really know. Uh, I kind of get lost and stuff, so. This is like crazy cool where are we right now. We are in a Heathland. It's like, like Heath Ledger, the Joker. Um, so I'm not going to be showing you guys like every single second of me playing in this. Obviously, you know, I'll, I'll be doing some stuff off camera. I'll be doing like tedious building and stuff off camera. Um, especially at the beginning here when I'll be doing a lot of like hiding away, you know. I'll be doing a lot of that off camera. Uh, this is why this will probably be the only episode of this I'll be able to actually record because uh, past this I don't think I'll have, I'll be mainly just kind of starting to get a, a area set up, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see, there's a, there's a cat, hi kitty, hi, good kitty, uh, what, what happened, no, uh, oh, okay, yeah, you, you go cat, holy crap, I gotta get one of those up head, that's crazy. Like, yeah, don't don't screw around with me again, or I'll put you in the ground and take out your take your slimes. Oh, good lord, that cat is like evil. She's like meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I just kill a tiger, but meow, look how cute I am. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be hiding away from the evil, evil, evil creatures that come out. At night. Oops, that's raw beef. That's raw pork chop. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we do. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Crickets. Very cool. Can I take you as a pet? Are you a light bug? Oh, that's cool. Are you guys gonna light up? That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, cooked pork chop. Wow, really? This this wood sucks. I like the different kinds of wood we got going on. All right, let's see what we got going on. There's a mini golem over there, I believe. Hope you guys can see this. Hope it's not too dark. We got a mini golem over there. Some scorpions, uh, a skeleton. Oh no! Those things are epic and I can't fight them. Crap. Yep. See those guys? Yeah, they turn into werewolves. They're not retarded. So, yeah, okay. Um, I'll be back when I'm not hiding like a little scared girl. If that ever, if that time ever comes to pass, uh, let's just do this. All right, guys, um, I will be back when you can see again, and I'm not hiding. All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Um, I know this is not where I was previously. Um, had a little mistake I made. I, I went and took a lunch break, came back, started recording. I recorded. I was actually, I just ended my episode just like five seconds ago. Um, as you can probably see why, because look at the hell I'm being surrounded by right now. Uh, there's guys, there's like baddies everywhere. Uh, so I come back and I'm like, I finished. I'm like, that was great. That was so good. And then I look down, I'm like, ah, crap, my headset wasn't plugged in. Um, 
So I was talking, but you can only hear me through my laptop mic, which sucked. Uh, it was really bad. So fortunately, I'm gonna have to redo it. What I have done is I found this really, I'll show you guys right now. It's really derpy village. It's really cool actually, but derpy because it's not really completed. So as you can see, there's on water and you know the whole idea of there being water everywhere is really cool fortunately the villagers are all stuck in their village uh they'll be really safe uh it's kind of funny when the zombies here though they just kind of like stare at it they're like so come at me bro i'm not, I'm not afraid of you you can't even get to me so anyways uh and then i was going to continue on through here actually i was just about getting ready to do it and i guess that's what you guys are going to watch um unfortunately i have to wait for the night time uh, I actually legit wish I had cheats now because it would have been better for recording. But then that's cheating, and I don't want to be cheating. No, there's no cheating going on here. Uh, so we are walking, going forward. I don't know why we're parkouring, but we are. Okay, so there's. A... Wait, I gotta wait for the flame pit. I want to see where the, where the flame wraiths are. I definitely cannot find a flame wraith. They will burn me alive. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, there's a fight going on over there. Or that could be a guy turning into a werewolf, which I know there's plenty of. Um, okay. So, okay. So, the, the deal with werewolves, I didn't really explain it very well last time. Werewolves, you need to attack them with gold or a silver sword, which you get from a silver skeleton. Uh, unfortunately for me, I love how those, uh, both, both, I, I, need, I have neither a gold nor a silver, so I can't actually do any damage to them. And silver are really hard to get because you have to fight silver skeletons, which are somewhat overpowered. Um, there's flame wraiths everywhere. Okay, day's coming up. I'm just going to play the patient card and wait for these mobs to all dissipate. Because, yeah, there's like, ugh, there's way too many werewolves. They're all over the place. And there's wraiths, and there's fire wraiths, and this is on hard, and I suck, so definitely going to be waiting. So, I feel like there's things I said at the end, but I think I've already pretty much said them, so I'll just wait, I guess. Uh, sorry, I'm a little kind of uh, frustrated. I had to do like another 15 minutes of this, and I've already done it before, right? But that's life, right? Okay, so we're just gonna be avoiding all these. Where are we at now? We are now in a lush swamp. Okay. Oh shit! I hate these things. Are you just? Are you serious? Oh, do 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 do. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that is a s small, um, <laughs> what is it, a mini golem. They throw things at you, and they actually do a lot of damage. Um, there's another one over here. No, that is a full-size golem. When you come up to him, he will get huge. And but you will get silver blocks or iron blocks from him. Unfortunately, I don't feel like I feel like I'm not good enough to fight him. But you will get you get a block. One of those that block right there will be different a different type of ore you get from him. But he's kind of hard to fight. Um. So yeah. I love how that bug took a sword. Like, yeah, so. Like, I care. Alright, so. We're continuing our search for the illustrious. Uh. You know. Village. I'm looking for a village. I want to start a quest. I kind of want to be near one to have it to trade with and get some of my money so I can become a millionaire. Huh? And help grow their thing. <laughs> Some crazy noises. Um, also looking for a good place to settle down. I'm not really sure. <sighs> That's crazy. I'm not really sure what I want to do for building. Now, if you've never seen me, which you most likely haven't, 
I was like spent on a channel under Patty Big Rig, of course. Uh, so I took that down and kind of went for Gabbers, which is more something I go by now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't really know why. It was, I was, it was kind of a weird decision, but I did it, and that is my decision to live by. So I am kind of in usually an underground builder. Uh, I watch. I watch a lot of Hermit, uh, Hermitcraft, Generic B, and I'm not that great at building. Like, building is not my thing. Redstone is more my thing. But I haven't really been up to date with the updates lately, so I'm not really sure what's changed. So I'm not going to pretend to be a Redstoner or anything. But definitely more than building is definitely Redstone my thing. Uh, let's go get some of that. And so, it's not really typical for me to build an above ground thing, but how can I not build an above ground thing when I have turrets? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to build things above ground now. I've got turrets, and that's just cool. Um, so most likely what I'll do is go for a fortress type of deal. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. I've got some fix. Uh, go for like a fortress, and... And then build like my redstone contraptions underground, like have an uh, underground thing. But the a fortress be above ground. Um, also, I'll most likely might mess around with some of the like Mayan villages and whatever, like the big villages that they have, where you get quests from, and kind of see if I can add on to them, see if that affects them. I kind of like messing around with stuff like that. So I'll be doing that. And yeah, that's, I'm gonna be building lots of stuff, lots of cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing lots of adventuring, uh, lots of everything really. Uh, definitely gonna be trying to do as much as I can in this LP. I I, I suspect this LP will last for a long time. Um, this will be like the main, my go-to series. Uh, yeah, these grass blocks are super derpy. Uh, they're all over the place. Uh, I am now in... Oh, I took a screenshot. Jade Eclipse. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I love that screenshot I just took. Like, so good. That is like gonna be such a beautiful picture. Uh, so... Um, I... Oh my lord, derpy, derpy grass all over the place. So, I've kind of mentioned that I'll be doing the Legend of Narathan in the future. I'm going to be doing... I am going to be doing some adventure maps, I think. It's kind of been... But I know one thing I used to do on my old thing that people really liked was the, was the Pixelmon LP. People really liked that. Uh, that's cool, I want that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. A sticky situation. Mud ball. <laughs> um. Uh, yes, so. You know. I might do that. Um, people like that is cool. It is pretty. Uh, I'm sure it is like. Oh, that was really cool. I'm sure it's like insanely better than when I had it last. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be thinking about that. It's gonna be the top of my mind. So uh, I, I, I think that I've been so intrigued with mods that a lot of my things are gonna be modded now. I think it's gonna be a big, a big part of my channel. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do some mod showcases. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Stuff like that. Um, if you guys have ideas, uh, let me know. And new located villagers, the favorite I t of type. Whoa, that was crazy. I, I I don't I don't know what that said. Um, I'll have to go back and read that again on my video. I don't remember what that all said, but uh, I know that some of the English in that I think is a little bro found village. Yay! I am your god. Bow down to me. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Um, 
Deathlead Bernhard, Village Always. Off to chat. Uh, yeah. Wait. Taking resources from home. Yeah, so there's some things that are French. Uh, I, I kind of knew about that. They're not, everything is not English yet. I think that's being, it's being worked on. Getting goods for the household. Okay. Um, what are you saying? Here we have to avale the songs. For song. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't because it's a language problem, is it? It's because I don't know their language. I have to trade with them. Yes, that's it. People are probably like, uh, dude, it's like the things above their heads are English. I don't know. Which job. Can, I, can I trade with you? Okay, I gotta find a trader. You traitor. Alright, guys, but well, I definitely found a village here, and I am excited. Robert Manfred, Matra de Guild, head of the village of Vilzers La Fright. Your status, stranger. We are wary of strangers around here, newcomer. But deal fairly with us, and you will find people here hospitable. Possible housing. Petite terrain. Not available yet. Petite maison. Not available yet. Grand terrain. Not available yet. Maison. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh, you could, they talk to each other. What? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Your reputation is not sufficient to purchase village scrolls. Your reputation is not yet sufficient to, for you to be recognized as a leader of the Norman people. Improve your reputation with us, or perform exceptional tasks to reach those status. These are Normans. We have uh, relations with other villagers. Diplomatic points available, zero. Relation health. Relations between villages determines whether those villages will cooperate or not. Local trade, merchants carrying resources, will happen between villages with good relations of the same culture. Or excellent relations of different cultures. Villages of different cultures with very good relations that both have markets will host merchants from other cultures. Uh, villages of the same culture with excellent relations with each other will accept other teenagers. They have jobs. Uh, relations between villages start at excellent for hamlets of, of a parent village. Good for villages of the same culture and neutral otherwise. Each day a player gets five diplomatic points with, with which to influence villages' relations. The effectiveness of the praise or slander depends on his reputation with that village. Uh, is legit days like Hmm, interesting. Population, nine, five adults. Wait, nine adults. Military, offense 36, defense 174. Village map, seven buildings. No construction in progress. Oakwood, 36, 34, 108. Wood, any, 16. Uh, project Tavern, lacking resources. <laughs> Cross timber frame, plain timber frame. Norman villagers. Norman objects, Norman buildings. No. This is flipping cool. Um, wow. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty good way to end this episode. That was, this was epic. Oh, man, I am so, I am, I didn't realize it was actually this good. Oh, crap, everyone's off to sleep. Damn it. Come. Like, how do they do this stuff? It's crazy. Um. Yeah, you guys are doing that wrong. That's, that's, that's horrible. You guys don't have a bed. I don't know what the timber frames are, but they are cool. Okay, guys, so that was awesome. I hope you guys, if you guys like this as much as I love playing it, please uh, 
leave me with a comment about what you think I could do better. I'm always looking to get better. I want to be better. Um, if you have a mod you think would really go well with this series, just let me know. Link it to me or something. Um, uh, definitely, I'll be having Legends of Narthan coming out uh, sometime. I don't know when exactly, because I'll be kind of doing a lot of uh, recording today. And I'll have more of this, of course, will be my main series. Uh, and you could see Pixamon, you could see adventure maps. You don't know what you're going to see, but it's going to be epic either way. I'm sorry if this episode was a little boring, it was a lot of talking, and yeah. Uh, I kind of apologize for that, but it's kind of uh, a normal thing for starting up a new series. So, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I got, oh man, I'm so, I'm so excited. Alright, later guys.